Hey guys, welcome to ANQ. This is that series where we're answering your questions about life and Christianity. And then hopefully along the way, these videos will even spark more questions and conversations. Don't ignore that. Keep pursuing progress on your spiritual journey as we do this together. Today you asked, well, a biggie. Is God real? What a great foundational question. Uh, so let's start considering the evidence. Proving the existence of God can't exactly happen in a laboratory. Now, I'm a big fan of what's revealed to us by scientific discovery, but of course there are many beautiful, powerful, important things that change our lives that we know are true, but we can't reduce them to, say, physics and chemistry. So there are reasons to believe in the existence of God. You could even say there is evidence, which means if you are interested in these things, you'll want to explore some of that. And that will mean not checking your brain at the door when you enter into such discussions. As a little side note, I'm not a big fan of the notion that says that you can't ask hard questions and think about these things. So let's do that for a couple of minutes. But let me start off by saying, um, I do believe in the existence of God as he's described in the Bible. I know, that's a shocker. If you're not there yet, let me give you a little bit of good news. The Bible suggests that anyone who sincerely seeks God will find him in their lifetime. Now, I'm not saying that you'll have a 100% without a doubt airtight evidence from that laboratory that we keep talking about that'll get you to that place, but I do think you will arrive at, at some place in your life where you see and perceive enough evidence to believe in God. And watch this. You could even get to a place of experiencing him for yourself. Knowing him is how the Bible says it. In case you're interested, this is exactly the way Jesus describes it and promises these things towards the end of what we sometimes call the Sermon on the Mount. He's talking about uh, seeking and you will find, knocking and the door will be open to you. But remember, this involves you authentically seeking and searching with all of you. So yes, your brain, but your heart too, if I could put it that way. But if you believe in reason, and I'm guessing that you do, and that this universe is worth understanding, we could talk, say, about the fine tuning of the planet. Everything from the amount of salt in the sea to like the degree that the earth spins on, it, on its axis. All of this works together to create the perfect conditions for human life to exist. And speaking of that, what about this life of ours? It is a miracle that we humans exist. I believe this all points really strongly in the direction of a God who created all of this with intentionality. Now, I'm not alone in this. Men and women who are way smarter than me and with many more letters behind their names would agree. I could give you a whole list from Rosalind Picard, who's a scientist and engineer, a professor at MIT, to Oxford mathematician John Lennox, scores and scores of others, who find the belief in a God who has created all of this to be very reasonable indeed. See, this is the miracle that is all around us. But there's even more. How about this? A little more personal. We have the ability to tell right from wrong. The very concept of justice is not just a theory, it's a deep, built-in sense that guides our behavior. Where does such a thing come from? I would suggest to you that the roots of this are anchored in God. Now, there's so much more that we could talk about, the, the, the extraordinary aspects of our emotional lives, like gratitude and, and wonder, and awe, but there's really one more miracle, I would say, that cannot be taken lightly, and that's the life of Jesus. Whether you're a religious person, a spiritual person, however you want to describe yourself or not, the things that Jesus did and taught and claimed are extraordinary. There's a reason people around the world coming from a variety of backgrounds have heard of this Jesus and he has influenced so many. He has left a mark on history. 
You see, he not only taught the most profound and powerful way to live, he, well, then he actually lived his own life out that way. It's the most unique life. He is the most unique person to have ever walked the earth. He was a man, but he was not only a man. He was and is the God of the Bible revealed to us once and for all. Now that's, well, that's an awful lot to think about and we've actually discussed that in another video. So I would, I would you know, invite you to check that out. Is God real? I think the evidence is powerful and reasonable, but not coercive. God's not gonna steamroll you on this journey. When you turn to him, when you even choose to start exploring all of this and you start turning towards him, I believe he's right there. He's the one helping you to take that step. He's nudging, helping, inviting. No matter how much evidence we examine, there is something deeper that is going on now. This is the beginning of a lifetime of discovery and steps that you will keep taking, steps of, well, faith. This is the rich and significant life with the God of the universe that will keep leading you to peace, meaning, forgiveness, relief, hope. I could go on. If you believe there is a God bigger than all of this, who created you with intentionality and with a purpose, I guess what I'm saying is there are implications to that. So you might be asking, you know, how do I have a relationship with this God that you're talking about? What does the Christian life look like? Could God love me? You just talked about forgiveness. Could God forgive me? Listen, I think those are important questions and they deserve answers. And we plan on addressing each of those in other videos. But for now, thanks for watching, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos in the A&Q series.